Let's get started with Nux3 and ChatCN. All along this course, I'm going to create an application with Nuxt3. Nuxt3, it's a framework based on Vue.js. So if you know my channel, you already saw that there is a very long course about Nuxt3. And basically, when you are writing Nuxt.js application, you are writing Vue.js application. But on top of it, you got a lot of tools, a lot of layers that are helping you to go faster. So if you want to know what is Nuxt, you can go on nuxt.com. Here, this is where we are going to start. Next to this, we are going to use a component library, which is ChatCN. So originally, ChatCN is made for Next.js. ChatCN here has been ported to Vue. So here we've got the version chatcnview.com. And we are going to install here this component library in order to create our application. Okay, so next to this, I got VS Code that is running. And on this VS Code instance, um, I got the very basic. I'm going probably to install some extension to help me, such as Volar. Volar is the most known extension for Vue.js. So we can see here that we've got this old version that is not en enabled here, but I'm going to enable it. Okay, and then you have the Vue official here, language support for VS Code, that is going to help me to work on this, um, actually on this application. Okay, so we are going to start right away. I'm going to come back. I'm going to click on get started. And here we can see down here that I got a command called npx nuxy latest init and here I can put the project name. So I'm going to come back here and on the folder where I want to create my application, I'm going to type npx nuxy latest and I'm going to call it nux free chat cn. So I'm going to type enter and here I need to install the following package that we got here. And when it's done, it's going to ask me which package manager I would like to ask to use. Sorry. So I'm going to use yarn is going to install the dependencies. And while it's going to uh, install the dependencies, we are going to go on ChatCN. And basically here we got a preview of what ChatCN is. So we can see with ChatCN that we can create this old dashboard and we could basically copy paste the code that we got here. We can see that we got other components that we can use such as the cards or we got the task here. We can have a beautiful table. We've got also a playground here to work on some elements. What I want to do is to click here on get started and I would like to install, okay, um, directly on next here, this library. So I need to have my project existing and I need to do some operation first. We are going to uh, do them together. All right, my project has been created. Let's take a look at it quickly. Here we can see that we've got our app.view file at the root, which is the root of the project. We've got a nux.config.ts, which is a configuration file. We've got a, a server file, which we can imagine is going to be about the server. We've got the public folder where we are going to have actually all the files that are going to be public. And after that, that's it. So what I propose you to do is just to open here the terminal and we are going to get back and we are going to follow all the steps to install actually ChatCN here. So we can see that we need to use TypeScript. So I'm going to go here and by default, I'm going to install TypeScript to my Node.js um, application, even if I think it's already using TypeScript, then we need to use Nuxt.js uh, Tailwind, so the Tailwind CSS module. So what are modules? Actually, uh, under Nuxt.js, when you install a library, you can also use it as what we call a module. You need to add it to the actually to the engine of Nuxt. So I'm going to just copy paste this, and I'm going to install Tailwind CSS. And when it's done, basically. I'm going to be able to grab everything that is around uh, Tailwind CSS inside my application. Okay, I need now to add the Nuxt module to the application. So I'm going to copy paste here npm install minus d chatcn and Nuxt. So I'm going to come here and type this and it's going to add to the Nuxt.js project chatcn. So the whole library. Actually, 
don't get me wrong, it's not the whole library, it's just the system that is going to help you to add the components to the project. Okay, so I'm going to get back in here and we can see that we need also to do some configuration on the nux.config.ts. So I'm going to copy paste this whole part and we are going to look at it together. So I'm going to get back in here and I'm going to add this. Okay, so we can see that we can import here the components coming from the folder components and UI. However, we don't get the folder components UI yet. You are going to see that just after. So let's continue here. And we can see here that we need to init actually this chat CN through the uh, CLI. So I'm going to come back here, just remove that, and type npx chat CN view at latest init. So I'm going to type enter. And here I need to install the package because I don't have it. So it's going to be the same for you. You will need to install the package. So here it's installing chat CN. And we can see that after we will need to configure the components.json. So basically, ChatCN comes with a full configuration here that you need to set up. It's all the time the same with ChatCN. You need to configure a lot of stuff. How do you want your components to behave, basically, the style, etc., etc. So here, I'm going to use TypeScript. What I want to use as a framework, it's Nuxt. So I'm going to type Nuxt. As a style, we can see that I got only two styles here. As a style, I'm going to put the default. Then here, as a color, me, I'm going to take the neutral. So here, we can see that we got a base color. It's going to be for the hover, etc., etc. So I'm going to type this. Here, I need to create a global CSS file, and I don't have it yet. So basically, what I would like to do is here to create the folder. So I'm going to follow what they say here, assets. And in assets, I'm going to create a new folder called CSS. It's for you to understand where we go exactly. I'm going to type tailwind.css, even if later we are going probably to change it for tailwind.scss. I'm going to type this. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to type enter. If I would like to use the CSS variable, I'm going to say yes. And the tailwind.config.js, it's going to be here at the bottom here. It's basically, I would like to use TS, but I'm going to let uh, GS. Then for the components, I got the folder components. And then on the lib utils also, and I can type yes, and it's going to write the whole components.json. This component.json file is necessary, guys, in order for ChatCN to work. It's really important to do the setup at this point. Right. When it's done, you should have this at the end, a tailwind.config.js with a lot of configuration. We should have the components.json with all the schema that we just wrote. We have a folder called public with utils here. It's necessary in order for ChatCN to work. Then we've got the components folder, which is empty. The assets with the CSS or SCSS, if we want in the future. And that's it. We've got everything that is configured. I'm going to push that into a branch called uh, main, for instance. The last step is to show you the app structure of the project. So basically, on Next 3, we are going to use pages where we are going to create view files. And we're going to have also a folder called components. So components is already created. Pages is not created yet. So I can create this folder called pages here and it's going to receive the pages of the application. So here you can see that we've got pages, components, all right? And here we're going to have a UI folder that will contain all the components of ChatCN. Then we got the utils folder, the assets, and the app.view. So we can see that everything here is actually under probably a source folder. So we're going to look directly how it works. And when we start the application, there we go, we've got our Nux.js app running. So let's come back quickly and let's look at this app.view file that we got here. And we've got this component, Nuxt Welcome, which is the basic component of Nuxt.js. I'm going to remove it and instead I'm going to type Nuxt Page, okay? So Nuxt Page will help me to display the pages of my application. However, right now I don't got any, so it's empty. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go here and create a pages folder. And into this pages folder, I'm going to create an index.view. So it's going to be the basic one. And here I'm going to use here um, a, a quick snippet that I'm going to show you later 
to create my index. So we can see here that I got a first page with a script set up and a ref, a first ref. And then here, my hello index template. So if I come back here, I got probably a bug. I'm going to reload. And we can see that I got my page hello index, right? So we've got the first page that is created. Now we would like to add a first element. Let's say that we would like to add the button. So I'm going to come back here and copy paste npx chat cn view at latest button. I'm going to stop here and I'm going to type this and it's going to add to the project the component button coming from chat cn. So here I'm going to yarn dev again and let's look at the components and we can see here on the lib that I got a button.view and we can see that we got the whole code here which is really cool. So Remember something, on Next.js, you don't need to import the components. There is an auto-import. So basically, the only thing that I need to do is to use this button, click me here. And I got my hello index, so here I can just remove it. And what I can do is to put my button, click me. So if I come back, I'm supposed to have my button, click me, with the whole style coming from ChatCN and view. So this is it, guys. We have our project. I'm going to push it to a GitHub repository right now. Okay, I'm on my repository. I'm going to create this under Nux Free Chat CN, and you will be able to find the repository in the description. So I'm going to create the repository right away. And we should be good. We have our repository ready. Let's pass now to the next step. Let's start to build this application.